All right, so for today's review, we are going to be taking a look at my DCP Vermeer 33 by 44 uh, that has been modified by Custom Styrene. Uh, this model is in 150th scale. I have done a review on it before. That was a while ago, the stock one. Uh, but somebody did request that I put up a review of this custom one. So uh, without further ado, let's get straight into the review here. Um, so the main thing that's really that's different on here uh, is this one does have a uh, wraps over the operator compartment. Uh, and as you can see right there, you do have some knobs that engages that have been painted and added uh, to the wrap itself. Uh, it does have um, a warning light on top as well. Uh, you can also see here it says um, Vermeer right there, 33 by 44, the D 33 by 44 navigator right there, and some DOT striping was added as well. Uh, you can also see right here. On the connection point to the track frame and the wraps, you got little bolt details right there. Uh, and you also got some bolt details right there. And then you can see you got a nice handrail uh, right here. Nice metal handrail right there. Another thing that was also changed on this model is the um, the drill slide assembly was painted black, uh, as you can see right there. On um, the base model, it is painted yellow, along with the spikes that get dug into the ground. These were also painted black as well. Um, but other than that, uh, it's kind of the same functionality as the standard one. Uh, the cab does, or the operator's compartment does spin forward. You got a brown painted seat. You got some joysticks. Um, kind of got like a simulated uh, control panel right there. You have a Vermeer logo right there, and it's very tiny but subtle. You can see a nice um, navigator decal right there. Um, and the, coming over this side... As you can see, the spikes that get driven into the ground are painted black. Uh, you can see some DOT striping right there as well. Uh, this side, pretty much the same, other than the DOT striping that was added right there uh, as well. Not too much functionality on this model, uh, but it is a fairly nice model uh, to have. Uh, like I said, made by DCP. I'm not sure when it was made. Uh, it came out. Uh, quite, there are quite a few different ways you could get it and quite a few different boxes that you came in. came in a DCP box, uh, which just said diecast promotions and Vermeer and stuff like that on it. And um, then it came in a Vermeer, a Vermeer branded box. Um, and then it came with, I believe it came with the Chevy DCP, the DCP Chevy 1500 uh, with the, um, the uh, tilt trailer. You could get it as a set. Um, get into the functionality here. Um, so the... Uh, the platform that the drill is mounted on uh, moves up and down. Uh, as you can see, uh, your stabilizers do adjust, which is nice. Uh, so you could have them into the ground, or you could just have the machine up. This one, it's a little loose, um, so it does kind of stick down. Uh, and then your drill function, uh, the drill, the drilling bit does come out um, to about there, I would say. So if you had a diorama, uh, you could pose it, you know, drilling um, some utilities, uh, which is nice. And then it slides back. Uh, then you got like a simulated, I'm um, not really sure if this is like your hydraulics or what it would be on here, but you do have a nice motor um, that would power the drill as well. Uh, but that's really going to about do it for uh, this review. Uh, like I said, this was built by Custom Sirene. Uh, the wraps and stuff were built by Custom Sirene. It was to go with the T880 bore rig that I have. Um, and I have tape on the tracks of mine uh, because... Uh, when I put it on the tag trailer that goes with the board trailer, uh, the tracks like to stick to that the paint for some reason. I'm not sure why, uh, but they just like to stick to the paint. So that's why I have the tape on there. It's to prevent them from sticking to the um, sticking the tracks sticking to the tag trailer. Uh, but other than that, that's gonna do it for this review. So I hope you guys enjoyed uh, the review. I know I've done the normal one before in the past, but just someone who wanted to see this one, uh, this model reviewed. So I thought I would do it. Uh, but that's uh, probably going to do it for this review. If you'd like to follow my social media, both links have the are in the description. Uh, if you're new to the channel, feel free to hit the subscribe button. I try to get videos uploaded every week. Uh, thank you for watching, and stay tuned for the next video uploaded.